Hello everyone, welcome back to my Nasdaq YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Drupal on your VPS or using free web hosting service to deploy your own Drupal website. It's completely free if you have your own VPS. If not, we can get you a free web hosting services which can host in your site layer for free as well. You must heard of Drupal before. What is Drupal? Drupal is another popular web content system, CMS. You can find out more information from Drupal website, but basically Drupal is taking 2.3 of all internet website and has 4.6 share of the content management system. Yes, it's not comparable with WordPress, which I already showed you in my previous videos show you how to install it from scratch, how to install using Docker, how to use in a free web hosting service to get your own free WordPress website. But I think it's good alternation for you to select another platform to deploy your own website. This video is not show you how to do configuration, how to create your Drupal site, but it just give you an idea how easy you can deploy this website for yourself using different ways. So now let's jump into it. As usual, I record all commands into my blog post for you to use it to make it simple. You can just copy paste to run, follow the steps in my blog post. I'm gonna use play with Docker this environment. You can find all my Docker videos to use this to present it, how to set it up, how it looks like to run those commands easily using this Docker sandbox environment. The command is simple and easy. Just get to my blog post and then copy paste the from there. It started with Docker environment. If you run it on your own VPS, you may want to follow my sections, which to show you the pre-requirement in the Docker and the Docker Compose those commands. But if we are using Docker Sandbox, we don't have to worry about that. We can just copy the command and then paste them into this environment. You can just shift V, it's paste. The first command is to get you the MySQL container because it already reached your pool rate limit. So you may want to log in first and then start to do the pull this Docker image. So login succeeded. So then we can run this command again. So this time you should be able to download your image and start your MySQL Docker. The second command is to bring up Drupal this container, a simple command running in the same host as your MySQL located, and then pull the Drupal latest Docker image and run it as a my dash Drupal this container. Well, both Docker are running right now. As you can see, we got two Docker. One is my dash Drupal, another one is MySQL. My next step is to open your browser and then visit this website. We need to do some configuration. To open your Drupal website from Play with Docker, you need to open port 80 since we are running our Drupal on port 80 by default. So then we just need to open it on port 80. It's been blocked by browser, so we're gonna try it again. Well, right away, you can see this Drupal 11.0.2 configuration page. You need to choose your language depending on your location, your language. You can choose it by default, it's supporting those popular languages here. I will use English, save and continue. You need to choose profile, I will do the standard. So here is a tricky part, you need to set up your 
database configuration. So we create our MySQL instance using the Docker as well. So in this case, we should be able to connect to it because they are running on the same host network. So database name, you can put anything there. You can put the my Drupal. database username. You can put the root password is the one when we, when we create our Docker, MySQL Docker, we use the password one, two, three, four exclamation mark here. So we can use the same one to connect to it. So the host, which one we're gonna choose? We're not, not gonna use in local host. We're gonna use in one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one. Uh, port number is always three three zero six. The transaction isolation level is read committed. We don't need to add any table name prefix. Save and continue. They will do the connection and verify the connection there. My browser asking me to save the password. We can skip that. Now it's installed in the Drupal. The last step is to configure your site. Right, Drupal email address. You can put anything there. Username is for your site management, just like WordPress admin account. You can put the username there and then you can put your website password, email address, time zone. Just choose layer one to match your location. Update notifications, save and continue. Now you get this website up and running. You can see all configurations are showing on the top menu. You can start configuring on it. There's a user guide you can create or content. So this video is show you how to install it as to how to configure the Drupal. It's going to be different topic. Congratulations, you already get your Drupal website up and running. If you are using your own VPS, you might need to configure your DNS, your own DNS domain to connect to it. But that's also simple, easy to do. If you're using Cloudflare, you just need to add your domain and point to your site IP. Then that should be able to get your website running on your own domain. Actually, I would like to show you another way to have your own Drupal website to be installed free in the internet. If you watch my previous free VPS video, you will see this X10 hosting website. I've been using it for more than two years. It's very stable and uptime is close to 99%. And it's completely free. I already registered account, free account, which allows you to use two databases, three domains. If you haven't it, just register one and watch my this video to show you how to get your own WordPress, how to get your own applications running in there. There's uh, hundreds of applications you can install extend and it's completely free. And also SSL certificate can be auto renewed. You don't need to worry about it. Not like other free hosting website, you need to renew your SSL manually every couple of months. So if you got your own account, just log in. I already associate that domain with it, my 50 sectoreuorg So if you don't have your own domain, you can watch my list video as well to get the eu.org free domain, completely free. I've been using for more than five years and no issue at all. First thing you need to have your domain, else you will run it on your on an IP address. Um, Actually, X10 hosting gave you their own free domain as well. So if you don't have your own, they will give you one. You just pick one there, but it will running on the different domain. From the account manager, you can create a multiple subdomain. And most important, you need to get your OSSL certificate. So I already generated my own certificate for my own domain here. So those two steps, 
you will need to do it if you want to run your Drupal website or WordPress website well on X10 hosting platform. You will need a domain, you will need a SSL certificate, and the SSL certificate can be auto generated. Assuming you have both, now we can quickly go to extra feature section. You will see this software curious auto installer. Click on it. The most popular one is WordPress, Joomla, and others. But if you go to Portal CMS, you will see this Drupal is available for you to install. Plus hundreds of other applications you can install on this platform. So we can do install now. So then you will need to do some configuration. I want to run it on the list domain. So I remove. You are not running on the directory, you are directly running from root folder. My Drupal X10. You will need the admin account and the password. So I'm going to put the password here. It's for temporary. I will change it later on. You will see they will create a database. Um, there's a limitation to database for each free account. So this is going to take one of them. That's it. Once you put the site name, select your admin password, then you can do install. It will take three to four minutes. We'll wait and see how it goes. Actually, it's less than one minute. It's been up and running now. So let's uh, take a look. We open this link right away. It's running on the my domain, and the connection is secure. We are using valid certificate, which is coming from that encrypted. We got that from hosting portal. So it's great. It's easy. I will recommend you to use in this way to get your own Drupal website. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumb up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. That will give me a great support. See you in my next video.